Greetings, sir and sirette, and welcome back to Cosmeteer with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome to our tiny little fleet, which just contains two ships, so not exactly a fleet, but either way, welcome to the beginnings of a squadron, let's say. Either way, the Scarab and our little minion, who is currently not named, because honestly, at the moment, it's still just the default vehicle with the FTL drive attached, a bit more armor, and a couple of extra thrusters. Nothing really too special. So today, what well, my main goal is, is to either retrofit this one or add a brand new ship, which will be using missiles. The idea is we're going to have one or two scarabs at the front taking the brunt of the damage, since it's made up of a lot of armor and a couple of shields, and then little guys like this at the back lobbing missiles at the target. I think that should work out pretty well. So let's jump over to another easy area, get some money, and hopefully by the end of the episode, our goals will actually be met. Well, this planet's called Kappa, so naturally we need to go there. And ready and engage, let's go. Now there have been some updates since last time I've played because sadly it's been way too long since I've played last. So if there's a few things I'm missing, I do apologize. The updates for this game are so often, it's very easy to get a little bit out of date with what's actually going on. So here's the thing. My Scarab actually has the longest range weapon here, which means the poor little Model Zero is always going to be in the firing line, and that is why we need to add a missile launcher. And yes, I did just sort of hiccup while saying that. Hopefully it didn't come out really obviously. Who knows? Anyway, professionalism at its best. Ooh, enemies. As in multiple, as in plural, as in bad. Hmm. This may take a second. Okay, then, here it goes. Let's see how this turns out. Hopefully I'm not too rusty. Oh, come on, stop running away from me, thank you. And we have the Tri-Raptor. Well, we can certainly see the weak points here, but honestly, I'm just going to go straight for the core. So, how are we going to do this? I think, with the little guy, I'm actually going to slightly change what we're going to be doing. The reason is, I don't like the fact we're always going to be able to be targeted, so... That was the wrong button, so maybe I'm a little bit too rusty there. I want to be behind the enemy target. Now, as soon as we reach somewhere around here, I'm going to reset the command to a regular attack, because otherwise it's going to spend way too much time simply sliding around here, trying to stay directly behind the target. I also want to do one other thing. Ignore that, that was me trying to do something I really didn't need to do. So, with the Scarab, we want it at almost max range, so about here, just so the laser can definitely reach the reactor core. Okay then, let's see how this goes. Okay, into combat itself, let's slow down. Now you should be trying to get over there, although you will pass the enemy, so what I should have done is staggered the orders using shift to set up a couple of orders, instead of what it's tried to do, which is not exactly what I wanted. Yeah, also the turning on the scarab is really slow. For a second there, I thought I would gave it the wrong command. Okay, that's good enough, so let's just reset you. There's probably an easier way to reset the move and then click again, but still the same effect, just probably a bit less efficient. And yeah, okay. As long as that can catch up. For a second, it will probably lag behind slightly. Okay, there goes one of the arms, at least. Or does it? Yep, that is... Attached? Detached? Yep, now it's, now it's actually removed. And our little Model Zero is completely out of the range of the enemy weapons, which is exactly what we wanted. Actually, that's really good as well. I do want you to target that large thruster. I completely forgot we could actually target specific parts of this weapon as we can't with the scarab and I've just got used to using the laser. Uh, the big laser. The doom laser, because these are called lasers. I need to call it something else. The beam. There we go. Okay, let's change your aim a little bit. Let's go for the core now. There we are. See, this is what I wanted. The scarab taking the brunt of the damage and of course the shield doing really well with that. A little bit of armor's been destroyed, but that armor's simply the armor outside of the shield. And then you just sitting at the back, knocking off parts as you see fit. 
There we are. I really should turn off rumble as well at some stage, but I like it. I know it's terrible for videos, but I like the rumble effect when the laser is hitting, the beam is hitting. It just looks so much cooler in my opinion. Come on, one last hit. You know, I really could have just gone for the reactor at this stage. Oh, bugger, uh, just bugger off. I don't want you to take any damage. Could have done that better, but for the time being, there's really no sense risking it. Take your revenge on the corpse of the enemy. Okay, for a bit of practice, a bit of fleet practice, I think I learned a few things there. Definitely could have done everything a little bit better, but that's the whole point of practice. Okay, you both need to get repaired. That was actually very cheap. Okay, massive amount of money there for very little spent. You two can get back into your fleet formation. And then let's try it again. Okay, I think we're going to go ahead and retrofit this bot. Making it go behind the target all the time is just going to be really, really irritating. So instead, let's give it missiles, let's allow it to actually sit in this position, just behind the scarab, and hopefully that will be significantly better, since of course the missiles are the longest ranged weapons in the game. At least, I believe they are. If they're not, they're certainly up there with the long range weaponry. So, let's go to blueprint mode. Yes, that was blueprint mode. Well done, Lathrix. You can press the right buttons. So, I still want this to be small. That's the idea. I love the idea of having a load of these little ones just at the back, all with maybe one, two, perhaps, missile launchers, but that's about it. So, nice and simple. We want this at the very, very front so that we can stay as far back as possible. So, this is the very point that's going to be facing the enemy, nothing else. So then, we of course now need the missile factory and perhaps the missile storage. So, how are we going to do this? Of course, I want this to be flipped, so something like that. Hmm. We could have the missile storage here, move these two thrusters up a little bit. Then we just need to make some space for the bunk bed. So I think this will have to be moved back a little bit. Also, if we do this, this is going to make this craft incredibly vulnerable, but it means the power and everything else are all nicely attached. Ah, now that's an issue. I forgot that missiles can only be attached like that. So actually having them, well, one here, and making a weird asymmetrical build might be a better idea, because I don't want to change too much. Obviously, there's better ways to do this, but without really changing and just basically making a new ship, how are we going to do this? So, mirror mode off for a moment. We have that like so. So, you won't need these. You can all go away. So, can you just for the time being. So, right now we have power. And the missiles all attached like this. They'll probably just run like this anyway. Because, of course, well, we can't attach doors there. Then, that would give us space for a crew quarters. Okay. Now, if we do make it asymmetrical, we've got to make it look good. We've got to make it look purposeful for that reasoning. Now, if we, that was the door, move these two back. What I'm thinking is we could have two large crew quarters here and here. Of course, that does make getting to these two thrusters really inefficient, but I don't think that's too much of a bad thing. We just don't really have enough space to do good hallway positioning. This way, we now have enough people and we have enough energy. Okay. I got a little bit bored whilst thinking about things, and I may have made a face. I mean, it's different, I suppose. Different is good. Well, it's not quite done yet, but it should get the job done. It has thrusters in every direction, it has a single missile launcher, it has just about enough people, though could do with a little bit more, and it has just about enough power. And honestly, we just ran out of money at that point. It also has these things on the side, because... I thought it looked cool at the time, and the more I look at it, the less I like it, but I'm still happy enough with it. Either way... Let's see how this goes then. And it begins with another Triraptor. Sure, why not? Okay, so let's get in range first of all. Mr. Scarab, I would like you to stay, of course, close to your maximum range, so about there. 
And let's make sure we're actually going for the core. Although I am starting to think that knocking off the two sides would be better. It just feels like the sides get knocked off, they keep on firing for a short while, and we end up getting random hits to the side, which we otherwise wouldn't have. Okay, you don't need to be in this formation anymore, but I would like you to be at your extreme maximum. Well, extreme maximum while still able to hit every single part of the enemy. So, not extreme maximum, in other words. Then we can have two of these, so we'll just remake this model on the other side as well, and that should work out pretty well. If it functions well in this battle, of course. Okay, that was a pretty impressive start, knocked off a lot of that side, and you are protecting us, although that may be a bit of a problem there. So, we want you now just to slide a little bit to the side, just to avoid that. Uh, go the other way instead. Should be reloaded somewhat soon, anyway. Laser, of course, will be doing the bulk of the work. The missiles are more for burst. As we've seen in the last playthrough, missiles are great, but for overall damage per second, they're quite poor. Looks like we're having a bit of trouble reloading the missiles. Well, that's why we're doing this test battle, so we can find that kind of stuff out. Okay, at this point, just instead of what you're doing, just stay where you are. You, on the other hand, can go off to the side. Well, the enemy isn't getting any shots off on us, so this will be a pretty good victory. Though what I have learned fairly quickly here is try to stagger these two before the start of the battle, because doing all these changes will just get very annoying. Oh, come on, hit the thruster. Thank you, missile. Say goodbye to the enemy thruster, so now it's a bit slower, so everything should be a little bit easier. We are also in quarter speed, so the fire rate isn't as bad as it looks, it's just not the best. There we go. Took a little bit of damage on the armor on the side, like we always do because the shields aren't protecting it, but other than that, that was a pretty clean fight. Yeah, so, problems with this are quite apparent, really. Having to run all the way there is annoying for a start. I really hate the fact that the missiles have the doors on the sides rather than behind it, because that would make building so much easier. Essentially, that being like there would be the best, or this being here. There's a few ways that would be made better. So, the power to that is just an instant cor- well, there's no corridor or it's at all. My god, my speech day is just not here. There's no corridor, so moving between there and there is easy. Then, it's this little walk here which is annoying, but... Yeah, there's not much else we can really do. I wanted be uh, better corridors and placement, but I also wanted this to, to stay quite small, because it's a sh very small assistance vehicle. So I think we are going to have to just keep it as it is. Plus, its aesthetic is growing on me a little bit, but let's do a bit of uh, recolouring, shall we? I'm thinking similar to the other one, we have the armour as one colour, then the regular blocks as another, just because that would look cool. Thankfully, the AI won't realise this and then focus on the weak parts. It still has, you know, the little hex shapes on the armour anyway. So, let's start off with remove any decals. Any others? Is that it? Okay. Decals low, that'll be you. Goodbye. Then, for the paint, I think... We should really stick with a similar paint scheme, I imagine. Maybe this one being a, li a little bit lighter, though, so at least it's a bit, a little bit unique. So the under being a bit more of a blue than a purple. Maybe that's a little bit over the top. I was going for a very radioactive look, so even the thrusters have these little decals on. Um, I don't mind it. But I don't really love it either. Just cleaning up a few areas, like so. Um, yeah, let's leave it like that. I may end up removing all of the top decals, just leaving the base paint, but I'm happy enough with that. Though maybe this would look a little bit better. Looks very dirty. It does look a little bit radioactive. It's like a vehicle you would go in if you really, really wanted some horrible form of radiation poisoning. Also, 
I forgot to change that. I did change it in the original blueprint, but then I changed my blueprint, and that really confused me. So this is because, of course, if you use just regular mirror mode, because this is here, it's, well, it did knock off the middle a little bit to the left, so when I mirrored, yeah, that happened. There we go. I'm sure people have already complained about that, but there we go. I fixed it on camera, so everyone can be a little bit happier in life. How about this? That would give a lot more protection to the back. Okay, we're also going to do that, and I think that may be the finished design for the time being, anyway. It really does look like somewhere you'd go to get some horrible radiation poisoning. I like that. Now, of course, these aren't symmetrical, but they never really will be, unless I move that to there, which leaves... Um, I guess that would leave the corridor there, so actually, yeah, moving that there would be better. That's less about symmetry, more about efficiency, because now this whole corridor section is completely... empty. The last thing we need to do is add some fire extinguishers. Where'd I add those, though? Hmm, don't have much space for this. I mean, I could put one here, but that's really out of the way and awkward to get to. I guess one there, one there, one there, so most of the front is covered? Okay. This has been a really awkward painting session on a side note. Ooh, that looks different. How if I do it like that instead? So, we're making a bit of a pattern out of these lights, rather than having them all just the same each time. Quite a simple thing, really, and I should have thought about doing that in the first place, but I'm a very simple person. Yeah, that looks way better. And then remove those two. You know what? I'm actually starting to really like this. Okay, a little update. I've added two very small lasers onto the second vehicle, which, by the way, I will be accepting names for, so that if we do come across something with, with a lot of point defense or anything like that, we should still be able to fire. We definitely had enough people for it. Uh, the only concern is how far the power core is away. There's definitely going to be a lot of downtime with those weapons. But they have it, so it's something. Oh, come on. Being trolled here by the red dots. Thank you. Okay, well, at least this is a design I actually recognise. Um, so, let's just get into combat. We're going to stay in this fleet formation this time. Okay, there we go. And focus your blasters on that, please. Now, of course, the problem with the blasters is that we have to be a little bit closer than I would like. In fact, we have to be here. Well, doesn't seem to have point defence, so just stay back, I suppose. Stay in your formation, then, and continue. These poor missiles are really going to have to work for that hit. Okay, with you, um, just max it out so you can hit his cannon. There we go. One nice missile hit to the side. Come on, take out the cannon. There we go. And since he's being focused completely on the Scarab, you can move and get all of your weapons online. And focus just on the core, I suppose, when you do. There we go. That worked out pretty well. And the missiles did their job. Okay. All good. As usual, the armor got knocked off. Hello, last enemy. Okay, what do you have? A lot of armor, two reactors, and quite a bit of weaponry, and more annoyingly, point defense. He's hoping the missiles get behind it so only one of the point defense will shoot on the way. Okay, so. So, 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 so. What are we going to do here, then? Okay, what I'm thinking is, it's too much armor with those reactors, and it has a little bit more weaponry than I'm comfortable with. So trying to knock out a side like this is probably better, because of course we can straight away hit the weapons. You, just stay at long range and do a bit of a twirl. Actually, that was pretty good, and I shouldn't have been that fast forward. That's all I wanted to see. Yep, let's, let's take out those lasers, that would be great. 
Okay, you're just about to miss. So let's just start correcting your turning. Oh, those missiles are so perfect. Look at that. Come on, don't get too- Oh, they're not perfect. Why did you go in front? Still go Oh, we have a score. Okay, goodbye to pretty much everything on that side. Okay, so now let's focus on the other side. Because even if we knock out that reactor, it's not really powering much now. This one is now the important side. So, Lovely Scarab. I keep doing that by mistake as well, selecting the weapons. Anyway, Lovely Scarab, could you please do this? And could you, you know what, you know what, let's uh, alter what you're doing. Get closer, weirdly enough, because I want you to be able to use your regular lasers now. And the first thing is to take out that weapon so you're not being shot at, and then go for the reactor yourself. Lovely, look at all of that damage being done. There's a missile, I was about to ask about that. Hello! That was teamwork. Speed up time a little bit now. The missile reload actually isn't that bad. I'm quite happy with that design. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, still knock out that gun for me, that'd be great. No, the, the gun, the gun, this thing. How are you missing like that? Okay, move forward. All we need to do now is kill the reactor, and it counts as the kill, so swap on over. Um, yeah, you do the same. I love that giant laser so much. Best thing in the world. Love me some beam weapons. One day I will- oh, lovely. One day I will turn off the rumble effect, but that day isn't today. No, stop doing that. No, you've already selected it, that's why you're doing that, Latherix. Not too bad, considering we took so much laser damage near the end, and yeah, very cheap. Actually a very clean kill. Only 3,000 in repairs. Well done, guys. You're working well together, and soon I can afford a second one of these, because I quite like them. And that's going to be that. Although, what should I get first? Another scarab or another missile launcher? Or I could make one with a cannon. I know, I know, I should really stop having so many vehicles with only one weapon or just a couple of weapons and make one larger one. But I like the idea of making them so unique. He has a single laser, he has a single missile, that's what they're for, they have one simple role. Then as we get more money, we can upgrade them, so multiple lasers, multiple shields, multiple missile launchers, multiple potato storages, you know, all the good stuff which is important in life. Well, I've just gone ahead and added an FTL drive to our new craft, which means we are able to go anywhere from now on. However, I'm afraid for now, in this particular episode, I am all out of time. So if you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Cosmeteer is a series you wish to see continued in the future. In the next video, I will be either upgrading these two, you know, adding multiple weapons, more armor, more space, or we will be making our cannon craft. Although I am tempted to simply add a second scarab or a second unnamed missile vehicle, I'm also kind of enjoying building at the moment, so we'll see what we do. Any name suggestions are very welcome for our lovely missile craft. As you did name the scarab, this one as well does indeed need a name. There's still so much to do with them but I'm enjoying it so far. So thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time, and goodbye.